Hi everybody, I'm Rebecca Keppel. I'm here for Scrapbook Circle today and I have a tech tip for the month of July which is four ways to watercolor the Vicki Booten stickers that are found in the July add-on called Laugh More. So I have some watercolor cake, some distress oxide inks, some Tombow dual tipped markers, some regular distress inks. The first technique is going to be using the distress oxide inks from Tim Holtz Rain and we're going to just take those oxide inks and wipe them onto a matte or protected work surface and I'm going to take my distress sprayer and spray a bunch of water right onto the mat right onto those inks and you can see that the inks bead up into that water and they're absolutely beautiful so now I'm just going to take that sheet of watercolor stickers and just wipe it through those puddles of ink and just just look at the watercolor look that you get so simply from just wiping the stickers right through just the little puddles of ink. So I am going to use my heat tool on this. You could just let it dry overnight or whatever, but I am impatient and I also want to layer some more colors. So I, I want some more blue down in that corner that I seem to miss a bunch of spots. So I'm going to come in, put some more ink down on the mat and put some more water on top of that and then wipe again and again layering. And that's the great thing about these Distress Oxide inks. You can really layer on top of them because they have those really cool qualities. So I'm going to bring in some more of the fossilized amber now which is a really pretty yellow color and just add some more. It's You're getting more depth, more dimension every time you add some more color to it. And then just wiping away with a baby wipe off the mat and pulling some of the big blotches of water off of the stickers and then drying with my heat tool. And then I'm coming in and just spritzing some water right onto the stickers because these Distress Oxide inks react with water. So you're going to see some really fun effects just by once you get the ink down, spritzing it with water and then you get that oxidized look, which kind of creates a very pretty watercolor effect, I think, when you do it on these stickers. Okay, now I felt like it was still missing something, so I brought in some worn lipstick and I'm just getting a few spots where I just thought it needed a little something more, something different and fun. And you can see I'm just doing the same technique where I put the worn lipstick right down on the mat and then spritzed it with water and then pulled the stickers right through that. Once you get the combination of colors that you really like, just bring in your heat tool one more time. Really make sure everything is dry and set before you add these to your projects, but they are pretty much ready to go and look at that stunning watercolor effect. These stickers are so thick, they can withstand so much watercolor paint. So for this next technique, we're gonna use watercolors. These are the Gonzai Tombi watercolors. And for this technique, I'm gonna actually wet the stickers first. First. That's going to allow the watercolor paint to move really freely on the stickers and it I think provides some really pretty effects, some watercolor effects. So I'm just going through wetting my brush and then getting some of the watercolor paint on the brush and dragging it through those already wet stickers. Now you can see some of the darker areas is where the stickers are already starting to dry. So I do pull in some extra water on the paints just so that I can really move these colors around and have some really pretty blending. But then you get that really great ombre effect too. So I'm going to take my heat tool once again and really just set these and dry them. Again, you could just dry them overnight, but I was impatient and I wanted to get to creating my layout, so I used my heat tool instead. So the next technique, these paints are also by Gonzai Tombi, but these are their metallic watercolors. They're really, really pretty. They're called the Starlight Palette, I believe. I'm going to link everything down below. And I'm using a water brush this time. So I'm just getting a little bit of water on the pan there and pulling up this metallic paint and then just carefully using a very fine tip water brush. I like this one by Tim Holtz. It's the detailer brush and putting it right on the sticker. 
And you can see when I hold it up to the light like that, you get this great metallic glittery effect just using watercolors. The last technique is what if you only have one ink or color in a color family that you want to use. It is totally okay to combine different mediums or different watercolors to provide you with a span of watercolor paints or colors. So for example, I only had one distress ink that was purple, that wilted violet. So I put that down on my mat and I spritzed it with water. So then I brought in the Tombow dual brush marker and I scribbled that on the mat and then spritzed that with water. And then I brought in some just basic watercolor cakes and a fine tipped brush from Ranger and I'm just combining these all together. And I really like the effect that that you get from combining all of those different watercolors in one sticker. So that's been four ways to watercolor the Vicki Booten watercolor stickers that were found in the July add-on of Scrapbook Circle called Laugh More. I hope you'll try some of these techniques. I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. Have a great day.